Ford dealers of America, who sell and service Ford cars and Ford trucks, present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Okay, kids, come on. All ready to leave. Jack, you set? All set. Good. You warmed up? Warmed up. Okay, boy. Lynn? Yeah. Got the bats all ready? Ready? All you ready. all set, Fran? Yes, I'm fine. Where's Coop? We gotta get, go. out the, gotta get out the practice. Where, Where is he? It'll be dark before we get the practice. I don't no. know. Coop, come on. Hey, you're all ready. Yeah. <laughs> you bet I'm ready. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. The Coop, the Pollard, and nine. <laughs> oh, we'll win the... Uh, We'll win the pennant this year, believe me. You think me. we really could? Oh, you bet. Under my tutelage, we're really going to have a great team, believe me. Well, I hope so. I've been talking to all the boys, and they really think that I'm a real great fellow. What's the dope so far? Well... Oh? Really? Oh, wonderful. I got that direct from the players themselves. <laughs> you think... How'd the game turn out here today? Well, it was uh, kind of sad the last time I heard it. Oh, well, find out more about it. <laughs> I wonder where Luke was. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody was yelling for him. I wonder where Kook is. Kook! Hooray, Come on, Kook! Hi, <laughs> Hi, Fran! Hi, you I'm ready? All set, you Gee, bet! great. Oh, you yeah, look great, Kook. Oh, oh, he got you. <laughs> look at that. Wonderful. Isn't that great? <laughs> Certainly is. Oh, it's new. It's we got some great equipment this year. Yes, sir. <laughs> Wilson made them for us, you know. I know it. Yes, sir, boy. Well, how about it? How are we going to get down to the ball uh, ballpark, huh? Well, we're going to drive down to 54. Okay. Well, Is sure. it ready to go? I think so. I'll, I'll get it. This All time. right, fine. You mind riding oh, in the back seat, Fran? No, I'd love to ride in the back seat. <laughs> Here we go. All right, I will open the trunk compartment. Let's take her in the back seat. Okay. It's kind of fun to ride on the outside sometimes, I think. Yeah. <laughs> wait, a wait. The ball. <laughs> Got everything? Yeah. The bat. Good. Poor mitts. You good drive? Yeah, I'm good drive. Some of the other kids will meet us down there, madam. Over pushing oh. all the rest. Well, here we go. <sighs> <laughs> oh, here we are. Last trip, I'll tell you. Oh, boy, look beautiful. You get there in a hurry. Hmm? Oh, boy, what a beautiful day. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. Lovely. The field doesn't look so good this year. Little, uh... A little, uh... A little dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, dry and wet in spots. Yeah. We're leaving out pretty soon. Well, I have to be careful sliding today. Got your shoes on? Mm hmm Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Better not walk inside with him and tear up the carpet. No. Nope. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, mm. isn't it? Just great. Smells just like, uh, spring. Just like, uh, oh, all the beautiful, wonderful grass and trees, and then the, uh, sorry, kind of imagine summer coming along, mm -hmm. you see baseball, and mm. you can see swimming. And yeah. Uh, Go canoeing? Yeah, just as Jack has said, spring has sprung. Spring has sprung, spring has sprung, with the happiest, gayest of days yet to come. Spring has sprung, spring has sprung, what a glorious thing to be able to sing. A springy, a spidey, a bright kind of tune that we'll keep repeating from March until June. Spring has sprung, spring has sprung, our favorite time of the year is here. <coughs> Yay! Here we are, we're going to rest. Everybody set now? Everybody set. Yeah, got the bats all ready and everything? Everything here. Boy, oh boy, this is going to be a great game this year. <laughs> <laughs> to the park, the baseball park, where else would I go for a springtime lark? To the game, the baseball game, the game in which I burn considerable fame. At pitching a fastball like a bolt from the blue, my batting is average, just 692. Play ball, you guys, home run, you guys, what a crucial time of the game this is. The pitcher warms up. 
The pitcher winds up. He throws to the batter who swings, but he misses. Strike! You're out. <laughs> Well, now, really, let's get organized. Yeah, now we got it. Now we got to organize the team. Well, better get a captain first. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I what? can be the captain. Well, that's all said. I organize the team, kids. I'm the captain. We didn't vote for you. What is this, a meeting of the board or a baseball team? Well, they, you vote. I, I believe you vote for the... This is a... This is a... This is democracy. We don't just yes, come up I in a... Yes, I should say. Cooper, you can't see a thing. How are you going to be a pitcher? You have to be the umpire. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm not going to be the umpire. I'm going to be the catcher. You'll I'm be, the, be catch the catcher and the captain. Ollie, I won't argue with you about being... Why don't you coach? Why don't you coach? Oh. I'm going to be the catcher. Very important thing to coach. Ollie, may I remind you that baseballs are rather expensive and the Kukulpolitan 9 has a limited budget. I know they're expensive, but I want to be the catcher. I know, but we can't afford to waste them. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, let's face it, you're all trouble. That's all we need. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pitch you a ball, and, and then it'll, maybe it'll be a strike or something. You've got to strike at it, and, and you'll catch it. Where? I don't know, where? <laughs> Look! Think so? I'd, if I were you, I'd send them instead of catching them. I don't think I'll be catching any, because Kukla's such a poor pitcher that uh, you'll be uh, sending them all the balls that they want. No, you're you're a pretty good pitcher, aren't you? I don't know. I haven't warmed up this season very well. I had a little trouble with my arm this season. I don't know. I don't have the same old... Your arm a little bad, yeah. hmm? I don't know. Well, we'll see how well, it we'll is. Just, why don't we try out? Maybe you'd better try out. I suppose we should. Now, wait a minute. Now, we've got... see, Madam Oglepuss, Beulah Witch should be out in... Right Short field? Shortstop. No, I say right field. Right field. Yeah, I think... Left field for Beulah Witch. No, yeah, she's I there most of the time. What? Maybe she could cover... Maybe she could cover all the outfields, so she could. Well, she's the logical one to do it. I suggest uh, Madame Ogle puts a shortstop. Shortstop. Or perhaps uh, Colonel Cracky. No, no, Colonel Cracky's playing second base. How did he get there? Well, he, he's going to play second base. I just know that. That's all oh, there is to well. it. How do you know? I'm the captain. I may decide to put him at third base. <laughs> How'd you like that? We didn't make you captain yet. No, you really aren't. Oh, you're both against me. No. I'm the one that's organized the whole team. Hmm. <laughs> that's not fair. Not fair at all. Well, look, Ollie, I'll, I'll, I'll just make a compromise. Ollie, would you mind leaving just a minute? I suppose so. Fred? Yes? I think it would be better if we made him captain and he played some other position than catcher. We can make a compromise like that. I think we'll have a good deal. Give a little, take a little. All yeah, right, fine. Sure, that's what you have sure. to do in the big leagues, you know. Okay, come on in. Come on in. Where are you? I'm taking a shower. Well, come out of the locker room. <laughs> it wasn't really. <laughs> How would you like to be captain? What do you mean, how would I like to? I am. No, but you really <laughs> aren't. Not yet. We haven't made you captain. We thought it'd be much nicer to make you captain. That's great. That's fine. Okay. All right. Where's my mask? I'll be the catcher and... No, and no, 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 no. We had something else to go into about that. What? Well, you be the captain and we'll get a new... We'll get a, another catcher. Why? For the very reason we told you before. We went into all that, Ollie. The reason isn't valid. Oh, You're I prejudiced against me. Oh, it's Ollie, right, isn't that I have ridiculous? A I have a fault. You're prejudiced against me. I can't help it because I swallow things. Well, I know you can't. That's why we're trying to help it. All right, I won't be the catcher then. What can I play? Well, now, what... Well, you're the captain. So you ought to make up your own mind. I'll play first base. How's that? Fine. You got that? Is everybody set? Now, you sure you're all right for pitching today, kid? How's your arm? How's your little old arm? Let me give it a little rub. Uh, okay, old, old fella. Yeah, who's going to be catcher? Oh. Catcher. Bethel Bill? 
He should be the umpire. No, sir. Cecil Bill's playing. Can't be the umpire. What? Can't be the umpire. We won't know what he says. Well, no, that's the whole idea. Well, maybe that would be a good idea. No, no, he's got to play. No, he's going to play third base. That's Colonel Cracky could be the catcher, maybe. It would be a two count all the way through if he's umpire, won't it? <laughs> yes. Who's well, who's? let me see what we can do. <laughs> How about, um, Fran, what about you? Would you like to be the catcher? I, you know how many things I miss. I doubt if I'd be of any help to you there. You miss, huh? Lots of things. I might not see it coming, either. You might not see it coming? Might not. Fran, how would you like to be the umpire? <laughs> you know, I don't believe there are any lady umpires in the big leagues. I think it would be very nice. <laughs> don't you all? Yeah, <laughs> we'd certainly be very attractive and everything. As a matter of fact, we've got the mask for you and everything, right? Here, why don't you take it? You could be the umpire. You could be the umpire. Friend, here's a hat for you. Why don't you take it? And, oh, I'm sorry. Should be the catcher. I did pretty good. <laughs> This doesn't strike me as the kind of thing which would do a great deal for me. Well, why don't you Why don't you to go try it on, and then uh, come back, and then we'll start We'll start in a practice because we've got to get into it pretty soon. Okay. You can help us, and if if you don't, it doesn't work out as umpire, you can be catcher. Yeah. What am I saying? I'll see you about it. I'm the captain. <clears throat> well, I'll go and see what the, where the rest of the team is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rough it up a little. Yeah. A little stiff. Must be all right. A cook. Oh, yeah, Fletch, come on up. Where are you? Can't see you. Say, we better get to the game pretty soon. It's going to be dark before long. Thank you. We have to call the game. Cool guy, you know, I'm, uh, that. Oh. Gracious sake. Oh, no wonder. Cool, uh, uh, they want me to be catcher, but I don't believe, uh, Ollie suggested it, but I don't believe I had better because of my ears. I certainly wouldn't want anything to happen to my ears. And you know, my teeth are just a little prominent. And <laughs> I'm just afraid that there's no mask quite made, quite, uh, made quite, you know, the right shape. So if you don't mind, I'd rather play, oh, perhaps uh, out in the left field or... Something like that, would you? Right. That's all with you and me. You talk to to the captain. You let me warm up a little bit. Okay, so right here, old Pepper. Put it right here. Reminds me of Gabby Hartman. <laughs> now you know. I remember. No, wait a minute. Come on. That glove a little big for you? No bigger than yours is for you. I missed it. Fletcher, why don't you be the water boy? Very good idea. Fred, right, are you coming? Well, can't see anything. I couldn't stand that other hat. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't do a thing for me. Wait a minute. Besides, I don't see how it fits. I've always wondered sometimes. Fred! I've wondered about umpires' heads in many instances. I, I see now, if they can make that regalia fit, there is something strange. <laughs> Fran, no, Fran, you know I wear that hat with it. You're supposed to be an umpire on the baseball field. Oh, really? Oh, well, I'm all ready to warm up. Uh... Well, my dear. How divine. You like it? It's divine, my dear. Glad. It's your hat. That hat is you. I thought so. <laughs> You've never looked better in your life. Well, thank you so much. My dear, you're... Oh, she's, she's divine. Oh, I'm going to warm up. Warm up. She's red hot right now. <laughs> Beulah! Hello, dear. Oh, she's back. Beulah got back. Beulah, come on. Beulah, we want to do a little practice. Come in. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Where's Francis? She's right over there. What are you keeping her in jail for? <laughs> she's not in jail. Francis! Yes? What's happened? Got your vine bars? <laughs> yes. Well, I know how to fix that. <laughs> know the policeman. <laughs> yes, sir, I do. Oh, beg your pardon. Watch. All right, 
was, Beulah. I said it was a ball. What do you say it was? I, uh, my mother's calling me. Beulah, do you like this game? What? You like baseball? <clears throat> well, I like the game all right. Only trouble is it's awful hard to make a touchdown. Well, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a little rough. And when you get a railroad, it's a terrible thing. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the whole thing. Well, I tell you, I haven't played the game for a couple of years. But the last time, do you know, that I got the ball in that basket 15 times. Did but you? I'm very lively. Well, yes, I'm... I'm springy, you know. Yes, and you've got a good I'm reach. I'm springy, I'm spritey. <laughs> I've got a what? You have a good reach. Yes, I do, dear. Well, hey, that's cunning. You like it? Mm -hmm. What is it? What's well, a hat. It's a baseball hat. Lovely. I had a fine thing that went with it, you know. But I took that off because I figured from the practice I've seen around here, nobody's going to hit anything anyway. Well, I guess I better warm up a little bit, huh? Well, I thought you did. Well, I'm going to warm up some more. All right, fine. See you later. Okay. Colonel oh, Blackie. Oh, my little girl, I was afraid I was late for practice. No, I don't believe you are. But you know, I, I tell you, something happened to me today. Oh? <laughs> I do believe that uh, I want the youngsters to hear this. A secret? Well, I'm afraid they think I'm a little foolish, but I do believe that... Uh, <laughs> Well, come on, tell me. Well, the time of the year, I think, has invaded my veins. Do you really? Spring fever. You know that old story about, uh, in, uh, spring, a young man's fancy? Yes. Well, I suppose you're as young as you feel, hmm? I guess so. Well, I tell you, it's my fancy. And I feel pretty fancy, too. Well, I don't wonder if that's... Yet. Oh, it's a glorious, wonderful, beautiful day, and I'd, I'm glad we're out here for spring practice. I could work. Off a few pounds, I believe, myself. <laughs> yes, I think you could lose a couple. reason I'm late, my dear, is that I was out... Well, I tell you, you know, I got into my, my 50 Ford. Yeah, where'd you go? Well, I, I got into the convertible, you uh -huh. know. Such a beautiful day, and zoom, zip, down went the top. And I sat there, and I took my hat off, and I let the air blow through my two, uh, hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All two of them. Yes, um, and, uh, ah... Uh, I got to getting on the open road, and I thought to myself, well, now, this would be a good time to just uh, to, to tour a little bit. You know, I heard so much about, do you know that uh, that uh, Mr. Ford and uh, the American Legion uh, kind of jointly sponsor a great uh, many junior baseball teams all oh, over yes, the country? Oh, yes, they do. So I thought, well, it might be a good time to go driving around and see a few of them. And I got in that, that beautiful 54. I was sort of test driving it, you know, yes. as it were, in the, in the beautiful new spring country. I was just sort of test driving it, and I thought to myself, well, now, this is a good time for a trip. Sure. I really thought so. When you drive along, do you, do you think of the many fine features? Well, I think uh, I'm always very proud. Very proud because uh, just think for the second successive year while the Ford has been the winner of the Fashion Academy Gold Medal Award. Rightly so. Fashion Car of the Year. And, uh, and you know, oh, the colors are so beautiful. Oh. oh, those colors are so beautiful. I tell you, and inside, smart, decorated, designed and tails. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm late. I was just trying to explain. I'm, I hope I haven't held up the game in any way. No, indeed. And I would have done the same thing. Perhaps a little later, my dear, on the way home, perhaps uh, it would be, uh, we could have a little uh, spin. I'd be glad to drive you around a little bit. Would you really? Well, I promised another lady, too. But uh, I thought perhaps three of us could sit in the front seat. Well, three is a crowd everywhere. Where else but in that front seat? Well, my dear, how about it? Uh, <laughs> Fine. Mrs. Bullitt is here, you know, from uh, Seattle, Washington. Oh, well, I'd be delighted to go with you. K-I-N-G there. And I thought it would, perhaps we could show her the town. Why, 
Certainly. Happy we can get to a, do get a gentleman friend for her, perhaps uh, Cecil Bill or... Cecil Bill. Fletcher Rabbit. Fletcher Rabbit. Fletcher Rabbit could give her a lecture. Yes, he, no doubt. Mm. Well, just let me know what your plans are. I will, my dear. I'll be happy to join mm. you. Yes, indeed, my dear. Well, we're going to warm up. Here we go. Okay. Warm up. Warm Play up. ball. Hmm? Anyone for baseball? <laughs> I don't know where the T-ball is. I don't know either. You can't find the Cecil Bill anywhere. I, I just don't think we planned this right. Where'd the ball go? I haven't even seen it. I haven't seen it either. I don't know what I'm going to do. If we don't have a ball, and it's getting dark, too. Yes, it is. How are we going to play ball? If it's, come on, kids, let's play ball. Come on, kids. <laughs> Cecil Bill, you going to play? <laughs> Where'd everybody else go? Okay, well, let's have a little practice here, all right? <clears throat> you uh, want to be the catcher I, for now? I, oh, from over here. Yeah, here, I'll get you. Here, here's your catcher's glove. Thank you. See if it fits. Sure. Oh, I'm going baseball bat. Whoops. <clears throat> all right. No, we need it for the game. <laughs> Cecil Bill, I didn't mean to. Cecil Bill. Toy, toy. All right, go home then, sore head. Doggone it. Cecil Bill left, Fran. He did? Yeah, and he took his baseball glove. Well, he's just got one old glove and a bat left. And he got a ball. No. Baseball bat belongs to Beulah Witch. Our equipment is a little low. Well, good night, kids. I have to get home early because You're I'm going to take the baseball home with you? It's my baseball. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to play the game, Fletcher, if you're going to take the baseball? We need the baseball, well, boy. Well, sure, Fletcher. You need me, too, don't you? Yes, we do need you. Well, you either take me with the ball, or you don't get the ball. <laughs> but, but Fletch, old fella, you can play. Sure, you can no, play. No, they want me to be water boy, and I don't like that. No, sir. I can go home and be water boy. Yeah, water boy is very important. Sure, it's very yes, important, very Fletch, important old kid. Why don't you say, Fletch, old boy, you're a fine fellow and a great player and sure. a fine sterling athlete. Yes, and you're, indeed. And you're such a good sport, and too. And we'll put you in just at the moment we need something oh, money. And you're such a grand sport. And you're so strong and you're so fast. And we'll your let feet. you run. We'll let you run. Yeah, and you're so you're so fast in your feet. And I have a nice baseball too. <laughs> <laughs> well, time we were quitting. Good night. Sure was some game. <laughs> there go the the chances for the big game with gargoyle prep. <laughs> yeah. We didn't even get up to bat. That's the trouble. You try to organize a thing and try to be a big coach and everything. Have you seen Beulah Witch anywhere? I saw her. Where was she? She wants the baseball bat. <laughs> Here, Beulah. Hey! She flying that? <laughs> <laughs> You got your hat. I lost mine. Fran's got her hat. It doesn't fit. Looks cute, though. Maybe we should just, um... Ollie, look. I, uh... I have a baseball at home. And, uh... And there's a bat down in, in backstage, too. Is there, too? Sure. And, uh... And, uh... We have... Most of the... Most of our gloves are right, because... Wilson sent them over to us and made them for us, so those belong to us. And, uh, we can play, uh, we can just play, uh, a little practice little game. Little cat and play. Yeah. And how We're about... We're going to have to walk home, too, because Colonel Cracky took the board. He didn't. Well, we can walk home. We could walk down somewhere and... Hey, I got an idea. We could get Jack 
and we could get Lynn and all the kids and the crew, Cass and Gami and everybody and Mary and Kathy, and we could have a team that way. Sure, you think so? Sure, and we could go down, we could go walking right now, and I'd like to with the two best people in the world that I love. We could go walking together. I know a little song. Why don't we go down by the waterworks way, Won't past you? the bay there, uh huh? I know a cute song. <laughs> Johnny took Mary out walking one day Down by the waterworks facing the bay Said Johnny the kids have been here with their chalk Just look what they've written all over the walk yeah. Judy loves Jerry, Bobby loves Anne uh, Trudy loves Terry, Martha loves Jan Maggie loves Pinky, Tommy loves Sue, Maggie loves Pinky, but me, I love you. See on the fence over there? Where? Wait, Wait on it, look at that! <laughs> look at Ollie! <laughs> Fletcher loves Beulah, Beulah loves Fletch. If they write more words there, the fence just must stretch. <laughs> Ophelia loves Cracky, Cracky won't stay. Sackle Bill loves Mercedes. At least more today. <laughs> oh, look, there's more. there's more at the bottom there. Freddy loves Kukla. Oh, Kukla loves Fred. I am devoted. I'm your best fan. Freddy loves Ollie. <laughs> Kukla does too. I hate to admit it, but I love Ollie too. But me, I love me, I'm sweet as can be. I've made up my mind, I'm one of a kind. But next to myself, I love you, and you, and you. Bop! <laughs> You're real cute. <laughs> uh, uh. That was kind of an exhausting day. Yes, it was. I kind of enjoyed just uh, walking home, though. I'm yeah. glad, I'm glad, I'm real glad that Colonel Cracky had the board because he kind of wanted to show off. He tonight. belongs in the older set. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Boudreau wouldn't have been very fond of us today, very proud of us. Lou Boudreau? No. I'm he played very good team. We'll have to practice very hard. Hank Greenberg wouldn't have liked it. Or mm -hmm. No. Well, back either. Well, we will make them proud of us yet, kids. We'll have a team no matter what. So just stick with me, kids. Okay. I will. I'll stick with y'all, you old boy. Me too. And just remember these closing words, team. For economy, it's the 50... Ford. As you ride along like this, enjoying the comfort and flashing performance of your big new Ford, you'll find it difficult to believe that so fine a car could be so economical. But this great car is low in initial cost, thrifty to operate, and inexpensive to maintain. So stop by your neighborhood Ford dealers tomorrow. See the new Ford. Compare the new Ford. And test drive the big new Ford 450. This is Burr Tilstrom again. As my good friend Ollie might say, Thanks very much. Remember, before you buy any car at any price, first test drive the one fine car in the low price field, the 1950 Ford. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television. <laughs>